Hello, I'm Kimberly Pressler with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, September 30th. The 4,000 home phase of the future Newhall Ranch development cleared another hurdle this week. An appellate court panel upheld the ruling of a judge who found an environmental lawsuit was without merit. The court determined the developer, Newhall Land, had adequately addressed the impacts of the project on certain endangered species and greenhouse gases. Mission Village would be one of the first phases of the eventual 20,000 home community of Newhall Ranch, west of Interstate 5 and south of Highway 126. Developers are also still waiting to hear word from the state Supreme Court, which is reviewing a separate lawsuit challenging permanence for the same project. College of the Canyons hosted its annual fall semester Body Mind Wellness Fair to educate students on resources around campus. We bring all these resources to the students and it's just like absolutely amazing because we don't realize the problems that we all have. We all have different problems and we all have different struggles and everybody needs help and it's nice that these people are all here to help. In addition to the outdoor event, the Body Mind Wellness Committee teamed up with the Health and Wellness Center to host a variety of seminars focused on issues involving mental and physical health. To see a list of the seminars, log on to scvnews.com and search Body Mind Wellness. We're going to take a quick break right now, but when we come back, we'll talk about some fun events coming to Old Town New Hall this week and see who won big for the Rubber Ducky Race. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Ah! Watch this guy. Oh, oh okay. backwards. Oh. Don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it yeah. goes. Oh, oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right. Let's see what you can do. Right, let's go. They might Come surprise you. Go. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Welcome back. Old Town New Hall is kicking off the fall season with pumpkin carving and costumes during Thursdays at New Hall on October 1st. The event will start at 6 p.m. on Main Street and will feature artwork from local artists, pumpkin carving demonstrations, and an exhibit highlighting costumes from CalArt students. During all the fun events, there is also going to be a jam session hosted by the Ford Theatre Foundation. Last weekend, 3,000 rubber ducks raced in Bridgeport Park to support a local nonprofit. The 13th annual Rubber Ducky Festival supports the Samuel Dixon Family Health Centers in Santa Clarita and gave away thousands of dollars in prizes and raffle items on Saturday. The grand prize winner was David Shore, who made $2,500 for his first place duck. Second was Ed Monahan, who won $1,500. Congratulations to all of the winners, and for more information about the Rubber Ducky Race, check out their website at sdfhc.org. Now turning to weather, it's the last day of September, but it did not feel like fall outside today as temps hit the mid-90s. Temperatures will drop slightly for the next couple of days and get back in the 90s by Saturday. Sunday, we will see temps cooling down to 77 degrees with a slight chance of rain. Overnight lows for the rest of the week will stay steady around 63 degrees. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Kimberly Pressler.